Good morning. So we're going on with um, Galileo's story this morning. We're going to do some long reigning. He's 22 years old and he hasn't done any work for a good couple of years, really. And um, he has in the past had a little bit of trouble with his back. Nothing serious. And he's very, very sensitive to everything but just a little bit achy. You know, he's done a lot of work with students over his life and, you know, people have to learn. So um, we're going to just see what we can do this morning, just some exercises to help his back muscles. Um, I'm going to use the head collar again, like we did on the how-to video. This one even has a padded bit, so it's very soft. I'm just going to check out how we get on with that, you know. I, it's nice to use that if it's okay. Let's see if the feel gets a bit dead, you know. If we need a bit more, more mobility, we might change over to a snaffle next time. So he's just come in from the field this morning, so we don't really need a lot of warm-up. Our warm-up's more about just coming into the space. Uh, so we're just going to start just taking a walk around together, and then we'll go into long-reigning mode. Um, he sometimes thinks there's ghosts in the shelter over there, so we're just going to walk around that corner a few times. And the warm up's probably more for me. I noticed in the long reigning how to video we made, my shoulders are very tight, so um, that's maybe a bit about feeling like I'm performing nerves of being on camera still. But um, anyway, you know, it's that position that your hands are slightly higher up than their normal hanging position to hold the long reins. So that's something to really watch. So I'm just going to make sure my shoulders are relaxed. Also like him just to come into the space, into the moment and loosen all the joints off a little bit before we start. So we're going to start off with transitions. First of all, simple transitions within the walk, just slowing down to a slow school walk, walking on again and then walk trot walk i'm not going to run so i want him to be in quite a slow bouncy trot i'm just going to take as long steps as i can to keep up with him and then we're going to do some transitions from trot to halt So we're doing some rein back, which is very important for the back. It's a great way to get the horse to round his back up and get his back legs in underneath him. I'm looking to have as good timing as I can, practice my feel while I'm doing this. So I'll have a clear intention what I want. Lean back, imagine I'm looking out through the back of my head. If he doesn't respond to that, I'll ask gently with the reins. And as soon as he moves his body back, I'm going to let go. And then I can pick the rein up to keep asking for him to carry on backwards. Ideally, I would spot the moment when he decided to go back before he even moves his body. We're going to add a bit more energy into that and try and get some quicker steps backwards to make even more um, gymnastic exercise for the back. Now we're going to try a bit of quarters in and to make it easy on ourselves, easy for him to do the right thing and it's a good way for learning this, we're going to use the wall. So obviously he can't go forward when the wall's in front of him. I'm going to try and have a bit of bend in the direction we're going and I'm just going to tap him gently with my hand or the rein on his hind quarters, trying to get the right moment of timing when the foot's on the ground so I can ask it to step over. And we're just going to take a few steps sideways up the wall. Now we're going to come from the centre line and try and take some side steps over back towards the wall. So I'm saying side steps rather than leg yielding or half path. At the moment I just want to get a bit of sideways movement. I'm not really worrying too much about the bend at this stage. If possible just to even keep him straight. And we can try and take that into a bit of a pirouette just to start. You know, even when you think things are too difficult and they're not going to work, it's good to um, push a bit out the comfort zone and try things. And if they don't work, then it doesn't matter. It shows us what we need to work on to be able to get there. So now we're going to try some shoulder in. Um, again, I'm going to try and keep the hindquarters against the wall. 
and bring both shoulders in off the wall using both reins. So we say shoulder in, but really it's shoulders in because of course both shoulders have to come in. So we're going to take a few steps in shoulder in. Sometimes we'll start that from a small circle. And then we're going to do halts in the position of the shoulder in and walk on. Now we're doing some shoulder in on the other side. He's being a bit spooky about going into that corner there, so it's not so easy to get him in position. Um, he wants to come in off the wall. So actually, I'm just going to take advantage of that and use that to turn it into a mobilization of the hindquarters. We haven't done much of that today, so that's something we'll work on the next time. So that's us done for today. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. It was great fun. Um, I forgot how much I love long raining. It really is good fun. And it's a great practice for feel and timing and knowing where things are going. You know, you can see the horse as you're doing it. So you can relate what you're feeling to what you're seeing. Um, yeah, the flies get a bit annoying, so that gets in the way a little bit. Um, the rain back trot transitions were going really nice, so we'd like to develop that into Piaf with a bit more practice. And um, yeah, we'll go on with that. You know, it's great fun. One of my mentors, she always used to say, I hate walking, but I could walk all day behind a horse. So yeah, I think I quite agree with her there. We used to take long trips out with the youngsters, even the yearlings and the two-year-olds, um, down to the road to see the traffic. You know, it's a great way to get them used to things about the aids coming from behind. You know, in the case of him, like we said at the beginning, it's about um, keeping an older horse fit and maybe also for a horse coming back into work when you want to, um, you know, do a bit of gymnastics and not have the weight of the rider on. So thank you for being with us today and we'll see you next time. Lay, lady, lay, lay across my big brain's beard.